Evergreen is a company uh, I started doing business with about four years ago. And they have brought to us some really cool, innovative outdoor items. These are their portly birdhouses. Portly means chubby. But I, th I don't think you could say chubby anymore, can you? Okay. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. You don't want to offend a bird. So these are, are functioning birdhouses. Uh, and birds find them very, very quickly. I still have, right now, the swan, and that's it. In fact, that whole videotape that we just showed, we showed for nothing, guys. Uh, the, the swan is the only one that we've got. We sold out of a cardinal, a bluebird, a finch, a robin, a hummingbird, a dodo. Good gosh. These are all polyresin. Each one of them, by the way, has a rubberized stopper on the back as a clean-out design. And they will all sit flat if you so desire them to. Now, these were designed to be used and to be put out in your yard so that birds can make homes out of them. But some people also use them for decorative items as well. Our clearance sale price on this is less than 18 bucks. $17.98. That breaks down on easy pay to what, $360. So hopefully nice and affordable. You pay that first payment of $360 and then a fifth of the sales tax and you're, you're on the way. Comes with a hang tag as well. This poly resin, part of the reason why it works so well for outdoor use is that it's virtually indestructible. It also takes on infinite detail if the mold is done properly. So they start with a handcrafted mold. They carve it out of a, almost a, a clay-like substance. Once they make the mold, then the poly resin can be poured into it. And then afterwards, in this case, they're all hand painted. So the bills, the eyes, surrounding the sweeping the little touch of black so there's quite a bit of hand workmanship that goes into making each one it also means the interior is nice and smooth you know birds are very conscious of texture uh, if you've ever seen a bird and there's some videos on youtube that are pretty cool uh, a bird going into a, a wooden birdhouse before they ever make a decision to to bring hay or straw or grass or anything in there to make their nest they do a physical inspection they take their beak and they tap on every surface and they're checking to see how structurally sound it is and what the texture is as well. So in this case, I think it's gonna make a ready, ready home for your smaller birds, uh, your finches, your, your robins. Once you get into bigger birds like blue jays, things of that nature, they usually uh, open nest, but this, this is gonna be perfect. This is a customer top rated item. They've been popular since the day that they first came in and I know with the popularity of all those different birds, because we started with eight different designs, actually nine, and we're now down to just this one, the swan. I know that we'll get them back in next year, but not until then. So birds build nests all year round. It's not just a spring thing. I have a, a big plate glass window that I put in my office at home. It's my favorite room of the house. And I was sitting in my office, I was talking to a friend of mine, Pat James Dementry, who uh, he, she and I co-hosted the, the morning show for years. She's on vacation this week. Uh, and we were just talking. And I noticed that Robin was building an, a nest in the, the tree right outside the window. And I thought, wow, that's kind of interesting. In the middle of June, that's pretty cool. So they will nest. Put it out, they'll find it. At the end of the season, later in the fall, pop this rubber, rubber stomper out, pull that, clean it out, make it available for the next bird family, and go from there. It's a cute house can be hung or placed on a flat surface completely up to you. I got a lot of stuff coming up. I've got quite a few planters. I've got my Mr. Sunshine planters coming up. I've got some fun metal stuff that we haven't seen in a while. And today I'm a little limited on guests uh, because people were busy and I, I respect that. But some of our favorites are going to be here. Uh, our favorite human being from Marigold. I'll keep that one a secret. She's a ray of sunshine. And we're just going to hang out, hang out and have a little fun. All right, the Evergreen, Portly Birdhouse. Wonder why they put that in my show. Are they subtle?